The controversy over a planned Islamic center in the shadow of the new towers at Ground Zero began as a local issue. It would be a travesty to permit this building to be removed. Islamophobia, pure and simple, and do not... But the emotional debate over building a Muslim house of worship there has become a national political football that is playing out in this fall's midterm elections. A Republican political action committee's web ad puts the controversy front and center. This ground is sacred. Where we weep, they rejoice. On the lecture circuit, Republicans, including former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich, have rallied against the project. To suggest that a few blocks from a site in which Islamist extremists killed nearly 3,000 Americans, that we should tolerate? On her Twitter account, Sarah Palin urged, quote, peaceful New Yorkers to reject the plan, which she described as an unnecessary provocation. For conservatives, this is a good issue to talk about because it energizes their base. It fits into their larger argument about how Democrats have taken their eye off the ball in the war against terrorists. The cultural center itself would be built two blocks north of the World Trade Center site. Supporters say it includes a dedicated prayer space, but not a traditional mosque. Nine years after the World Trade Center attacks, just the idea of an Islamic center this close to ground zero still carries an enormous amount of raw emotion. For a countless number of Americans, this is hallowed ground. In a recent Quinnipiac University poll, 52% of New Yorkers surveyed said they did not want the mosque to be built at all. 31% are in favor of it. Opponents of the center want the building designated as a historic landmark, which would prevent it from being torn down or its exterior altered. They hope that would delay the project enough to kill it. A decision on the landmark ruling is expected next week. Jay Dow, CBS News, New York.